interesting conversation. We're thinking about elbow placement. And what do you do with the elbow? You come around. And generally speaking, most pros teach keeping the elbow close to your body, turn, and you bring your racket back. You point the butt cap to the ball. But the elbow stays close to your body. The elbow points down now. And as you make impact, you're rotating around, and then you extend the arm out to the shot. So, wham, rotate around, make impact, elbow points down, elbow points up. I got into this elbow conversation because I just saw something on the internet. But check out this guy's rotation and his elbow. It's a little bit more classic, straight back. Tucks the elbow in, but it straightens out the arm right there. Then we have this wild man. His, his stroke is crazy, but he's pretty good too. Okay, now we get three different preps here. I like the guy in the white in the first frame. The second guy is a little bit harder to do, but he has pretty classic prep. They all look pretty good in the prep. Good shoulder turns. I like having the elbow tucked in because I think having the elbow close to your body allows you to rotate faster. So that's my thing about the elbow. See how he tucks it in? This guy does more of an uppercut kind of thing going on. His forehand was the most effective. It was heavy topspin and penetrating, very consistent. The elbow points down on impact right here and comes up really well. Watch it again. Second comes up and over, extending the arm out at the end right here. The elbow still points down, but he has a good extension through the ball to the target and a nice even follow through over his shoulder. And then we have the other guy who... You know, it's boringly effective. It's not big. It's not spinning. It's just a good forehand, but there's no spice on it. I mean, it was just solid, um, but it wasn't big. It was semi-flat, a little bit of topspin, okay? Pretty easy to teach this forehand. Straight back, take back, go through the ball. This guy would be really hard to teach this forehand. It was painful looking. It was herky-jerky. It was big. He could hit really well, though. You gotta be talented. This guy was talented. I mean, his timing and the way he attacked the ball, it's just really undisciplined, but very dangerous player to play against. You know, and when you watch the forehand, it's big, man, when he hits it. But I don't think you can replicate that shot over and over like the normal person. So think about what you're doing with your elbow and work on doing something consistently. I like having the elbow tucked in. Having the elbow tucked in allows, in my mind, allows you to. Uh, keep everything close to your body and it allows you to do more unit turn things okay but notice there are three different ways to do things here so you gotta find a way that works for you tennis is a very unique sport you gotta make the adjustment for your body type and what you like to do